on guys, Richard here with Why Are You Watching Me? And we're going on a little road trip. I don't think I've mentioned it on this channel, but uh, I'm going to learn how to play a musical instrument. Yes, I am on the way now, going out to Deep Suffolk to pick up an accordion. Yes, I'm going to learn to play the accordion. I'm very excited about it, can't you tell? And uh, speaking of telling things, I know what you're saying. Oh my gosh, you've got a beard. Yeah, I wasn't too sure about it, but it is growing on me. And so uh, a couple years ago, my fiance and I were at a yard sale in her neighborhood. And she loved going to yard sales. And there was one in her neighborhood and she wanted to go to this. So we drove on out there and I looked around for a little bit. And she, you know, bought a couple little things I saw this little toy accordion and they were selling it for like four bucks I played around with it it just had like seven buttons I believe if I remember correctly it had seven buttons on, on it two buttons on the other side a minor chord and major chord well actually three buttons minor chord and major chord as well, well as the uh, air, air release button so you can open and close the bellows and it was a cool thing. I kind of fired around with it, and it was fun, and I set it back down. And then she wanted to look at some other stuff, and I wanted picking this back up and playing around with it some more. And then I set it back down, and then she paid for her purchases, and we were walking back to the car, and I turned around and I bought the accordion. Took it home, played around with it, see what I could do with it. I, I'm not a musically inclined person. I mean, I, I had like two piano lessons before I quit when I was like six years old or something. I was, I was really little. I used to play drums in the high school band, but again, wasn't very good at it. And though I thought about it, and, and, and actually I did uh, take guitar lessons in high school as well as a class because I only needed one class in order to graduate, but and that was my second class in the morning, but I had to stay in school all day. I wasn't allowed to go home, even though I only needed that one class. Totally lame. So I took a bunch of BS classes just to pad out the rest of my day, including guitar classes for a semester. And you know, it was fun, but I never kept up with it after that. So playing around with this toy accordion, I was having a lot of fun. And I did manage to learn how to play the Beatles All My Loving on the accordion. the chagrin of Aaron who just did not like the Beatles because growing up her dad would sing karaoke uh, Beatles songs at all times of the night like 3 o'clock in the morning singing the you know, All My Loving on the karaoke machine and she's got to be at school the next day and she yelled out I gotta go to school shut up go to bed <laughs> that's my Aaron impression <laughs> she'd kill me if uh, she knew I just did that but um so I, I played around this chord and I had fun with it. It was never really serious about it or anything like that. It was just a fun little toy to play with. And then later that year, it was around Christmas, and she wanted to get something from Kohl's. And Kohl's had to be selling the same type of toy accordions, except they were black and red, which are my clown colors. And they had one that was out of the box. So I picked it up and was walking around Coles playing All My Loving on this little toy accordion. And actually the kids that were there in the store saw me playing this thing. And when I set it back on the shelf, they got all excited and they had to go play with it. So who knows, maybe some of those wound up getting sold only because they saw me playing with it. Come Christmas day, I'm over at Aaron's celebrating Christmas with her family and she gave me my Christmas presents and darn it she didn't get me that toy accordion. 
it's not true. And again, play around with them. You know, learn how to play. Take me out to the ball game and uh, uh, a song by Green Day. But you know, there's only so much you can do with this. Again, it only had seven buttons, and it was a diatonic accordion, meaning that when you squeeze the bellows, it plays one note, and when you open the bellows, it plays the next octave up, the, the next note up. So technically, it has like 14 notes. And there's a lot you can do, but there's just a whole lot you can't do on it. Because it only, only plays the whole notes, doesn't play the, um, like minor notes or major notes, anything like that. Just, just, just regular notes. C, D, E, G, F, B, A, you know, just, just, just those notes. So there wasn't really a whole lot you could do. And, then, and also during all this, that was about the time that the shutdown started, the pandemic started, and I had discovered on YouTube an accordion channel, this guy named Ronan, he's from Canada, who does like accordion live streams, and he, he has a, a website called accordionlove.com where you can sign up and it'll teach you how to play the accordion, and so I started following him on YouTube and got to thinking, I'd really like to learn how to play the real accordion. And it just so happens, a friend of mine named Miles, who's in the band Mosquito Cabaret, plays the accordion. And he also teaches how to play the accordion. And I got to thinking, because I got booked for a number of gigs out of the oceanfront for that summer, that with that money that I make, I could buy a good beginner's accordion. Uh, accordion. Accordion. Huh? And so that was my plan at the end of the summer to buy an accordion and start learning how to play the accordion. And I was really excited about this. Well, 2020 being what it was, and by June, it looked like that the 15 day you know, lockdown to stop the spread had at that point been going on for about two months. And all my gigs down the ocean front were canceled. And baseball season at Harbor Park was also uh, canceled, so I wasn't doing a whole lot of entertaining. I did do some birthday parties over the summer, but not nearly enough to you know, buy an accordion. Even with going back to delivering pizza on the side uh, for some extra spending money, it didn't help. And so I kind of figured, well, there goes that. And didn't really think much of it and still continue to play around with my little toy accordion. Then 2021 comes around and basically made it the worst year of my life with Aaron's passing uh, as well as my grandma my aunt. It was just a terrible, terrible year. And with 2022 coming up, I just really wanted to focus on myself for this year and I kind of got in my head that darn it I'm going to get an accordion and I'm going to learn how to play the accordion and as it so happened I had received a small inheritance from my aunt and I used some of that money well one to buy my Tron Arcade cabinet which uh, you can see on my other channel Crown Boys Arcade but also I purchased an accordion Got it from uh, musicandarts.com and it was about $600 somewhere in that price range and I paid a little bit extra for the two day shipping. So I, I ordered it on December 8th and so I was expecting to have it by that Friday, December 10th. Very excited. So I figured I'd go on to accordionlove.com, start following, uh, oh, no, I already followed it. Go back and watch Ronan's older YouTube channels and start learning some of the basics. Yeah, how to you know, work, work your, your, the, the, the bass notes on, on the left hand and, and, and the finger exercises for the right hand. Try to learn how to separate the two hands. I'm not trying to do the same thing on both hands. And to try to get the, the basics figured out so by the time I start learning on the miles, I kind of have a head start. So, very excited to get the accordion. Well, December 10th came and went. And I didn't get it. 
fact, as far as it, as it looked, my payment hadn't even been processed. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, lockdown, you know, a lot of people decided, hey, I'm getting free Biden money, I don't need to work. So a lot of people are understaffed. And I figured this was also the case. So I, I, I would just let it wait for a few more days and then I would wait like another two more weeks. And then finally, on Christmas Eve Eve, on December 23rd, I'm like, where is this? My, my payment's still being processed. So I called them up and said, hey, what is going on? And they said, oh, we're sorry, we're still processing your payment. Like, who's processing the payment? The DMV sloth from Zootopia? It's been three weeks. Like, well, it just depends on where it comes from. Like, lady, I ordered a custom-made jacket that had to be made to my specifications. The jacket did not exist until I ordered it, and it was coming from China, and I already had it. I ordered it after I ordered the accordion. So I, I told her, never mind, cancel my order, give me my money back, I can get it elsewhere. And as it turned out, elsewhere wound up selling it and they didn't have it. So now I'm like, great, I don't have, the according I wanted, they didn't have. Well, the other day, an old high school friend of mine named Jenny sent me a link to a, uh, to, to, a page on the Facebook marketplace where this woman was selling an accordion and it looked to be about the same type of accordion I was looking to buy not the same brand and it was used but it's in pretty good condition and for only 150 bucks I'm like well this is fantastic this is perfect 150 bucks I get an accordion it's a good beginner's accordion so I can go ahead and start learning how to how to play this thing and so that's where I'm headed. Uh, so I'm getting ready to hit, hit the, uh, uh, the, the Suffolk Expressway, or, you know, 58. So now I'm going to need my GPS uh, to get me the rest of the way. So the next time you see me, I'll have the accordion. Well guys, this is it. This is the accordion. Um, I've been talking with a woman that used to belong to her father who was a musician and had several accordions uh he passed away last july and she she had another accordion that was brand new said he bought it in may so the thing was only two months old and she sold that one that had everything had the, the case and, and all that but she also got pretty penny for that one this one here was several years old uh sadly it is missing the strap that goes here and of course the straps that go here uh that i would wear so I really can't play around with this right now because I have no way of controlling it. But it does work. Uh, I, I did check like all, all the, uh, the reinforcements right here and all in good condition, they're not worn. I, as you can hear, it does make, make, make music. Or if you want to call it music, I don't know what you call that <laughs> noise. So, um, so yeah, it, it, it does work. Uh, in fact, I was even able to find the, uh, right, uh, yeah. there it is, yeah, right, rather easily the, uh, the, the home key uh, for the bass side, I forget what they call that. But uh, I, I'm thinking, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. The accordion I was gonna get had uh, 48 keys over on this side. And this one here uh, is 120, it's just a lot of keys. And I thought, oh my gosh, how it's going to be rather difficult to find the home key. But this has like a little jewel. I don't know if you can see it right there on the video, but you can feel it. It feels different from all the other keys. All the other keys are kind of smooth around the top, but the home key uh, feels a bit different. Uh, and of course, also it's different because it's got a little jewel. I'll, I'll get used to it. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a little bit easier to find. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to learning how to play this instrument. I just got to get the straps for it first. So, uh, that's all I got for now. Just wanted to share. So, uh, until next time, remember, 
you know, get, get to life. Make sure you're an organ donor, and I'll see you down the road, and have fun.